Uh, welcome back to Barton Tale 3. This is Steve Rodman. I am sorry to report that this playthrough is no longer going to be 100% complete. I guess it wasn't before. I did a little bit of resting off camera and dropping garbage inventory items off camera, but uh, now I did some leveling off camera, and the reason is I was testing out a variety of emulators to try to figure out what might be a more stable solution since I've managed to crash this one a few times, and I didn't really come up with an answer. I can't found um, Virtual 64, it's pretty reasonable, but every time you change focus, like so if I was to go over the map, the sound cuts out, and that was just too irritating. The look is a little bit different, it doesn't have the CRT emulation that this does, um, so... I also tried some other versions of Vice, like the SDL interface, which is what they're recommending these days. Couldn't get warp speed to work, couldn't get reasonable disk changing to work. Um, I don't know, I'm working on building the current CVS, the version from Version Control and certain Subversion, rather, SVN. And if I get that working, maybe I'll get more stability. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna snapshot regularly. Rewind if needed. Anyway, so here are the things that happened when I was trying some of those other emulators that made me unexcited about rewinding time. The first one is I started figuring out using locate traps where the traps were, and I sort of really enjoy the process of finding the trap on the map through movement, and so I just wanted to put them down. I probably should have shown it, but whatever, there'll be plenty of it later. The other one is I made a realization that uh, some of... I mean, I already knew there are fixed encounters and randomized encounters. So there's locations in the dungeon where they will probably be a count, an encounter. Sometimes those encounters are pre-decided what will be in them, like boss fights. Sometimes there's just going to be some encounter there. There are other encounters that happen that are just on a timer. When you're walking around, eventually the timer expires. I don't know if the timers are fixed length, I don't care. Uh, and something just happens wherever you are. Something that happens wherever you are can be a monster joining you, or can be a basic encounter. The fixed encounters are always enemies, never someone joining you, and they always have a chest. And the chests and the encounters, I think, are one-to-one -one mapping. So, <clears throat> which I never really realized before. I thought sometimes they had chests, sometimes they didn't. This makes it reasonable for me to start mapping them because before it was like I never really knew whether they were fixed or not I could guess some but not all now I can kind of guess them all and this matters now because I am trying to pump out some experience so if I go hit them all I can have a bunch of encounters get a bunch of items increase my experience okay so related to that uh, in the process of hitting all these chests be like eight of them. I found an item. And this item is a mage staff. So now I have two mage staffs, once for each mage. Uh, this means, among other things, if my cast, if I play the Rhyme of Duo Time during daytime, every tick I'm going to get three magic points. See that one from 132 to 135? Because one from daytime. One from double from dual time and one from the mage staff. Really nice. In the dungeon, of course, I get one, um, but one per combat round per mage. Okay, I keep I'm keeping that. Uh, and um, as a result of the grinding, which was the whole sort of intent of that, which I could have put on camera, I was not excited about it because I didn't think I'd have anything to say. Sorcerers are now level 6. So this means they are now level 6 in terms of efficacy, saving throws, magic, effectiveness. I haven't tried it yet. I was grinding at level 3 or something. Probably will be more pleasant. Uh, but more importantly, we have new spells. Oh, that's equipment. So I really feel like there needs to be a page down, and there might be a page down, but. Uh, that wasn't really a common UI concept we had done. Anyway, so here are the new spells. We already had fear. Reduce the... I haven't used it yet once. Reduce the effectiveness of a group of enemies. Should use it, especially when next time I play against Brill Hasty. 
Okay, we have a useless Bellwind Ogre. Summons a Ogre into the slots we don't have. Um, wasn't that great anyway compared to... I think we already had a summonable Ogre from the Conjurer um, class. Invisibility. This reduces the armor class of my whole party by a chunk. I think six. Uh, only during a combat. I don't know if you can keep casting it and have it stack. The main value to me I see from this is, you know, if I need to get my armor class really low really fast, I can have my bard and my mages lower the armor class. You know, if I need my bard to do something else, I can still lower the armor class. It's more options. The more, the one that's, you know, going to be of general use I'm using all the time, at least for now, is Second Sight. So this is a step up from Locate Traps. Locate Traps would tell me when there was a trap within three steps ahead of me. Second Sight, uh, I guess I have to cast it now, <laughs> will tell me... Okay, there's better sound mix. Um, Second Sight will tell me if there's a variety of things in front of me. So for example, these explosions, uh, I tested out with locate traps. I could see the trap, could not see the explosion. So I would step into this and then go, oh, look at that, the explosion went off anyway. Don't know if Second Sight will tell me about them, but it will tell me about some things, like these magic, these, these hit point drain squares. I don't remember what it says. It's going to say something. We'll have a clue something's coming. Uh, same thing with spinners. I don't, I don't remember if it tells us that it will be a spinner or if it just, you know, gives us a clue there's something in the square. Okay, so that said, uh, we're going to go off and kill more enemies. Oh, I guess I kind of want to know when the next level up is, so let me go back. Because I don't know right now. Okay, 16 more thousand. And given the way Brilhasti was summoning those demon lords or whatever they were, some kind of mean demon, my target at this point is level 13 sorcerer to get the preclusion spell to be no summons go away. I, I, per, I believe the fight may be winnable without that, um, but I think it would typically amount to the rogue winning it by herself. I don't know, maybe I should just do it, but um, it sounds dissatisfying. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe I should try it. Because what will happen is everyone will die, but the mage will continue, sorry, the rogue will continue to be able to hide every turn. This depends upon the idea that I can death strike the guards. I guess I still need to level up for that because for that to re work reliably, my casters will need to be higher level. Yeah, I couldn't find another emulator that switching discs would be quick. One of them I had to drag icons out of my file system browser onto the image of the emulator and then it would do a weird 3d rotation animation of it was just so strange uh and then it would be on the other disc and i still wouldn't have like very clear confirmation if it happened but the game would work so i knew it had happened something special is near okay so this is an example of what second sight gives us Going back to the first level, we are facing east. It says something special is near. Now, the confusing part is, is it telling me about these three squares? Right here? Or is it telling me about these three squares? I don't want to actually have a new order. Can I get out of that? I can. Uh, I guess we can try phase dooring. Nope, we're not allowed to phase door. So there's a distinction between walls you can uh, bypass and walls you can't. And 
I will start marking that when it matters. I'm not going to redo these maps because it doesn't matter. But I really don't know what that is suggesting to me. I kind of want to go check, so... Whoop. That is not what I meant to do. That's me trying to compile... Um, Vice in the background. Okay. And zoom out a little. So that's something special near was near. I know it's this this note. Uh, and you can see if we turn north, it can detect one, two, three away. There's a spinner. It did not detect this fixed encounter. I'm pretty sure there's a fixed encounter on this square because it always seems to happen. I, every time I walk by here, there's a, there's a something. Uh, I didn't really want to fight that. I tried to run, but I have, I think I know their number now. I think I have their number, whatever you say. Uh, Farfo. So I'm going to push him away so his spells can't reach. And Ogre Strength on Elena. Oh, it's Freeze Foes. That's what that's... F far FO is Freeze Foes. So it didn't work. Um... Could cast anti magic. What is that? Far foe? Do I have that? I, I do have far foe. Far foe and freeze foes are a little confusing. Neither of these are spells I used tons when I was a kid, so I don't know them as well. Uh, and anti magic. Okay. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm totally casting the right spell. Maybe it doesn't always work. Or, um, Okay, it worked that time. So now he's really far away. He's not going to be able to hit me with any of his spells. I've cast Ogre Strength on my uh, Rogue twice, which greatly increases her chance to hit. At this point, I'm just going to pump out Rhymes of Duo Time with my Bard and creep up on him with my Rogue. He cast Farfo finally. Which is definitely a thing he does. Okay, come on, Elena. Land the hit, please. There we go. So, Rhyme of Duo Time made it hit six times. Um, probably she would have crit anyway. I don't know if it's six chances to crit. Overstrength pretty much ensured she'd hit. Poison Blades, disarm. So that's one way to get rid of 
kind of some nasty caster who, if you get near it, will do mean things. In this case, he would wither us. My second sight turned off. I didn't notice. I know that th I needed to wear it off because there's a spinner here, and uh, I walked right up to it and didn't say anything. Here's that that trap. Placed because this is, I just walked here and uh, there's no note. Pretty sure it's over here. Okay, anyway, but you can see it tells me from two away there's a trap, and it went one away there's a trap, so at this point you would know a trap was here or here. You could, you could check. I came over here and looked, and I see a trap here. This could still be a trap is here and a trap is here. But if I go one more north and check, no trap. So now I know that there has to be a trap here. Now, there could be a trap here and here, and I can't tell the difference. So if I want to be really paranoid, I come around to the south, Traps up from this angle, which would clear traps from here, here, and here. And then I can look and I can detect another trap. Now, again, I don't know where how it is among the many squares, but I back up one and it goes away. So at this point, I would know there was a trap in these three. But when I backed up, there wasn't a trap in these three. So that would tell me, this one I just cleared already. So that would tell me there was a trap in this one special, specific location. And I could advance up to it without fear. Okay, so I just confirmed when I looked east here, it said something special. And then when I looked west there, something special. It was detecting this note that I had put in the wrong location. So it does wrap around as I expected. Where is the, where is that, uh, I'm looking for the, um, where is the space bar, right? Okay, so you, the note marker. Okay, um, I'm no longer interested in this floor. I'm gonna go down to I think I'm gonna land right on the riddle. Or maybe I'll get Wait, is that right? Look at that. I have an off by one problem. Uh, how about the north edge? Oh, the whole map is just shifted. I don't know why. Maybe I misclicked something. Okay. Here we go. Is back where it should be. Uh, how about the next level down? Yeah, I just shifted the middle map somehow. I must have misclicked. 
Okay, uh, I can answer this even though I don't really want to go over there. So here, uh, Sorcerer's Sight was saying something special, referring to this. Apparently, explosions are not detected, because right here is an explosion. That's a little annoying. Uh, looking at the special room, you get told, you know, you can tell there's something busy going on over there. I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, hitting the site locations. Although I think I've got a random encounter right here with four, two wind demons and four, this is fine. I don't even know if I need spells, but. You know, I, I need to use Sir Robin's tune to limit the number of fast masters that are summoned on top of the existing ones. I'm going to try out Mind Jab on, on the, the fast master. See how we're doing with Mind Jab. And how about Invisibility? So Mind Jab did 39 damage for, I think, four spell points. That's not amazing. It's not terrible. So do we get a chest? We do. So with my current theory, which, hey, may turn out to be wrong, there's a expected encounter in this square. Possibilities are chests can occur from random encounters. Um, so not all chests come from fixed encounters. Or this was a fixed encounter. Those seem like likely possibilities based on what I've seen so far. Incidentally, that stuff with um, getting the source code for Vice, uh, I don't know why, but this Vice is still hosted on SourceForge, which is kind of a become a bottom feeder organization. It's a little sad. I remember when SourceForge was sort of being built and got presented to the Barrier Linux group.
Linux users group. Um, you know, it, it didn't even exist yet. They were talking about making open source projects more successful by taking care of some of the drudgery that everyone has to do repetitively. And I don't think it even got acquired by VA yet, which, you know, who knows what all the vagaries are. Anyway, it's been many years, and it went from a promising idea to a cesspit. I don't even remember who's in the fight, so I'm going to cast a spell. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Gloombards and Bone Acolyte. So Bone Acolyte is the nasty one. And I'm going to see if I can hit him with spells. Anyway, so uh, I don't know why they're on SourceForge, but SourceForge is so poorly run that their subversion server drops the connections like every like randomly. Uh, it'll like work for 10 seconds and then drop the connection. That'll work for 40 seconds and drop the connection. So I wrote a script that just is iterative. Just every time it drops, reconnects and tries to keep going. And it's been doing that for a while now. So um, yeah, there's kind of two strategies for this like one medium distance caster. One is the rogue, and the other one is ranged spells. And our, our ranged spells finally did them in, so before the rogue got there. Okay, let's check on this chest, which I was a little uncertain whether that's a real fixed encounter. Actually, I'm going to sweep this area first, because I didn't before. Uh, also, let's cast our spells again. Second, second sight. I don't think that was related. And that something special's there is about this note on the opposite side, which I don't think, I don't, I'm not satisfied with the way it's marked. That is telling me about a hit point drain from the crappy room. Standing on this spot and no encounter is happening. So let's remove that. Oh wait, there's an encounter. Sometimes I take a moment. My memory is that the gloom bards are hand to hand and have some sort of status effect to inflict. But I wish they would play music against me, enemy music, because they're bards. No status effect that time. I sort of trained myself to always trap zap with Griselda 
at this point because she was the one with the mage death, but now they both have mage death, so I have to... Share the love. That's an, that, something special. There's a note we already know about. This trap is near, is explained by wraparounds. What if I back up? Yep. It's exact expected distance. There's one way, I guess, to find out whether it's the edge of the level. Another way, I suppose, is trying to phase door. Although there can be non phase doorable walls uh, within the dungeon. So that's not maybe the best test. I am not at all keeping track of how many experience points I have. Or I've acquired, rather. Stupid deaf lion. I don't know why the reuse of the images doesn't bother me much. Because, you know, there's not that many images for enemies. And there's a lot of enemies. So, um, there's just a lot of recycling. I mean, you have certainly noticed by now. For me, I end up just staring at and my focus is entirely on the name of the thing because I'm trying to remember what does it do. For example, four wing demons. I don't want to fight these. They are mean. I'm going to press run. So the image on the left is sort of, I don't know, it's like decoration. It's not important to me. So the fact that they recycle doesn't end up bothering me. It's, it's a funny thing. Is there a fixed encounter here? I was that was this one I was pretty unsure about. Waiting. Seems like a no. Oh, but there is one here. This one I'm sure about because I've had it. I, you know, I, I've, I've died there before. <laughs> uh, Venom claws, I don't think, are the worst thing ever. Uh, armor from the bard and armor from the mage. I think that should be a total of 10 points improvement in armor. It's probably good enough. That one poisoning, assume there will be no more. D 
demon lords in range, I will focus on demon lord or the demongar de demon gari lord. It's some kind of demon. Come on. I don't know what a demon gari is. I wonder if they call themselves the Venom Claws. Who named them? I mean, it's some sort of anthropological sense. Obviously, the programmers named them. I need a headset with a quick mute so that I don't cough into them. Also, the screen recorder could have a quick mute, but uh, it doesn't. Seventy-five thousand. I don't know how many points I need to get preclusion. My memory is that sorcerers take around, I don't know, three times as much experience to hit 13 as the base classes, something like that. cannot type. Actually, why am I being so stingy with my abilities? Uh, just here is a nice storm. Actually, I think I should go get the new spells because I think one of them is going to be a doozy that I will want to use while gaining experience. I'll be happy when I have a spell that lasts longer than Second Sight. Okay, let's go into the two cubbies. Well, three, three cubbies. Uh, two bone alkalites is bad, but I don't think I'm going to die to them anymore. The pile of marrow suckers seem like they'll be worth experience. I mean, a lot of experience. 
not <laughs> obviously they'll be worth experience. Uh, no more summoning. No more bringing in your friends, rather. You hide. Cast restoration just in case. Ogre strength on Lena. And we're all healed. Uh, I think the fire elemental is the most dangerous opponent in a way. The most dangerous thing in hand-to-hand -hand reach, so. Let's see if my monk can take it out. Okay, uh, more sustained healing. Hides you can get to the and acolytes. One more ogre strength and back to ice storming the marrow suckers. Parliamental God did get taken out by the monk. Kill a bone sucker or bone acolyte, please. Success. She'll often crit. Not always. Now we're dealing with the mop up operation. So we had a big fight locate, located right here. No chest. So far the, the theory is kind of holding. Um, do I want to have that fight again? Sure, whatever.
I think there's plenty of armor upgrades left to be had. Adamant stuff is dropping. And I lack lots of those slots to be filled. The bone suckers are gone. Okay, what you got, Mr. Bone Acolyte, what you got left? Nothing, that's what you got left. Okay, War Staff, I think, is actually kind of a good weapon. I never knew about it. I never used them. Oh, look at all these unidentified things. Gems, give them to the mages. What else do you have? You have a mithril arrows. I'm gonna just drop them because they do so little damage, they don't seem worth having anymore. Uh, the hawk blade, I've never figured out the main value of. I think it's lower damage, it might be an increased crit chance. using it? What were you? Oh, you're using the soul maze. The soul maze is almost certainly better. Let's try giving the hawk blade to the paladin. Paladin, what do you got? What you got? Slayer figurine, which is crap. Missile arrows go away. This is our bard. is mostly clogged up with fire horns that I don't use because <laughs> it's not strong enough. I, and Interval Arrows with zero arrows was on our monk. Okay. Identify this armor. What is it? Adamant Bracers. Uh, is that an upgrade for you? are using Mithril Scale. If you equip them, you go from minus 11 to minus 12. That is an upgrade. Now, does that mean it's also an upgrade for the Bard? Probably. And the Bard actually gets, you know, attacked on a regular basis.
Oh, but Bards can't use. I think Bracers at all for some reason. Okay, back to our Rogue. Bracers it is. Scale goes away. I'm sure that Bracers could be used by the Monk and by the Mages, but Monk has, look, minus 23 armor class, and the Mages don't get hit so much, so trade that away to a Mage. Try to identify this item. Well, it's probably a gem. And I have so many gems, I'll just use it immediately. Yep. Meanwhile, I've now made a room. So this war staff can go off to a paladin. Uh, youth potion I should put away in the hopes that I can re-energize it later. But not here. There's nowhere to put it away here. Okay, try to remember we have this light one with 75 charges. Don't need to cast those spells much. I wonder if Rhyme of Duo Time interacts with the Mage Staff. Because it says you regain spell points twice as fast, but. This fight is gonna be trivial. Like, it's like after those slow, long fights, attack, 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 attack. I keep doing it four times. Partly because I'm used to picking the group. Still want to know what that means, phasing her. Okay, so I just went from 75 to 77. So that makes me believe that the Ram of Duo Time does work with the, the Mage Staff in the dungeons. I think the huge flath is more dangerous, so I am having my warrior and monk attack it. The he healing song is wrong. Um, it should be the no bring your friends song for the, the fasts. Ogre strengths are rogue because I'm, well, I want her to hit it all. 
and I feel like she should take out that demon lord. It's interesting that like my two mages have, well, I guess they don't have that different hit point totals. Somewhat different. A much more drastic one would be Rogue versus, say, the Bard. I think it's largely class driven. I'm not sure. Probably shouldn't have made her a hobbit. I really think that in the end, like, the dwarves are the best race for almost everything with their constitution bonus. Shocks. You failed. There's a something ahead. There's a something in this room. I know what that is. That is a note. But that is not a something. And to the south, I'm over here. Let's, let's just... Here. So... This way, I got something here. This way... To the east, we get something here. Uh, this is going to be a fixed encounter on this square, I think. There it is, finally loading. And that's partly why it's hard to figure out where they are, is because you can go right through them. They take a moment to engage. Slaths. I'm going to focus on the slaths. Give the ice suckers a little ice storm. The bone suckers, uh, ice storm. Marrow marrow suckers, not bone suckers. Whatever, bone acolyte, marrow sucker. Thematically appropriate or thematically overlapping, both I guess. This is apparently a crypt-like environment. But one wonders, what do the huge slaths eat? I guess adventurers. I think Lady Openshield just got poisoned twice. I don't think that's bad at all. It's just I think they wasted their time is what happens. Her hit points are low enough to be inexcusable, so restoration to the, to the rescue. Okay, she's doing around 73 damage. In fact, I'm going to have her attack on her own to see. Yeah, 70s, high, mid to high 70s maybe.
I hope you cannot hear that barking dog. It lives upstairs. When the owner comes home and the dog's been left home, it gets so excited, which I'm sort of okay with. It barks its full head off for about three minutes. Um, the only problem with it is it's like a total lack, shows a total lack of discipline. And so it sets off the neighbor dogs and then everyone's yelling at each other. Okay, so this square, there's supposed to be something special. But I don't know what it is. It doesn't seem to be a hit point drain or magic drain. It could be magic refill. Which is tricky to detect in this circumstance. It is magic refill. Okay, you can see I went from 51 to 54. That was three points. I get one from the mage staff, one from Rhyme of Duo Time, and then there's one more that must be from where I'm standing. Okay, what am, I don't know how I'm gonna... Is there like a symbol I can use for this? It's not a very common... Um, maybe the pentagram? <laughs> a flower maybe a colored pentagram Fr friendly pentagrams are green I don't know okay I been to every location except this one and I just don't care to go over there so how how which how far do I have to go to get out uh, four south four east Had to have been six east. Looking at the map, maybe I should just trust the map and not try to ask the spells because it seems like I pay more attention when I look at the map. Close with the others. I think Hop Blossom's getting pretty close. 37, 29, 67. Oh, my mages are very close to going up again, but that's not the important level up. The, the next level will not get new spells, so we got spell level 4. Level 7, which is not actually very far to thir towards 13. But the important part is... Um, which new spells we got. Oh. I'm wrong. 
Uh, we need level five to get the good one. These are useless. Uh, we got Cat Eye, which is a permanent light spell but doesn't show secret doors, so screw it. And Wind Dragon, which is a summoning spell, so screw it. That was useless. Okay, I'm gonna pause for now. Or end this session. See you.